All right, so right now I'm going to teach you how to do the zigzag bracelet, which looks like this. Um, you can use up to three colors for this um, bracelet. Now for measurements, some, there are like a lot of different measurements you can use in this one. I usually just make them all the same length in case like you mess up in the order and then one of them's gonna be too short, you know? But, so I always do the same measurements every single time. So, once you watch a bunch of my videos, you'll realize it. I go from one fingertip, I shuffle my arms out and go from one fingertip to the far shoulder. And that's my measurement. And, um, for this one, you're going to be using, um, five different, like, strings. But you're only going to be, um, using, like, actually making knots with three of them. The other two you can make short like you make shorter because that's just something that um you'll go over to make it like longer but you want to actually not with them that's what makes it the zigzag so you're gonna have three long ones and two short ones so that'll be five in total and for this one um here's my five i have a this dark purplish color this light purple color right here white and then for my um, short ones, I'm doing that purple color. But for each one here, I have two little strings like that. But I'm putting them together and just using them as one. So here goes. First, you're going to line your strings up. Um, short, short. So the two short ones. And then your three colors in whichever order you want. Just know that um, the one in the middle, like white light purple dark purple the light purple one is not going to be used as much and the other two on the outsides are going to be what goes twice in the corners just like that so once you have that lined up you're going to take your final string since that's why we lined them up and we're going to do backwards knots all the way across to your left like so hold on I'm gonna move this up I think there we go I feel really bad because I'm like ruining this chair by like poking my tack in it but this is the only way I'm able to film it so I guess the chair will survive. Alright, see, so I'm doing my backwards knots all the way to the left. Just like that. And I don't know if you can see terribly well, but I know we just made the corner. See, like that. So we did the corner. And now you take your next one on the far right and go all the way over to your left using backwards knots just like before. And you go over the short ones just like normal. You don't, there's nothing to it, no total change. You're just not going to make the knots with these. That's it. And by not making knots with that, that's what provides like the gap in between the zigzag, like right here and right here, because you're using five strings, but you're only making knots with three, if that makes sense, you know? Okay, so next one. One, two. All right. Stay on your last color to the right. And the reason I'm doing it with like putting two strands together and just using it as one string is because it makes each knot um, a bit thicker and each row a bit thicker. So when your bracelet goes faster, and two, you can um. I think it looks nicer sometimes, especially in this type of bracelet, because it's not as, you know, like, small and tiny, and they're, like, big, fat knots, and they look, they look good. So that's that. And you can use it like that for any bracelet, or you can just use the one string, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so there we go. We just 
finished all of the backwards knots, we're going left just like that. See that? So now we're going to turn back around and go to the right to make this corner. So now we're going to get this white string again and now do forward knots all the way across. And the reason you're going to now want to stop and like not just keep going this way is because you'll get to the short strings. Once you get to the short strings, that means you need to turn around and go back. So one, two, one, two, oopsies, sorry, um, One, two, one, two. So that's that. We did this corner here, we came back down here, and now we're turning around and go back. So you just keep continuing with going with this light purple one all the way over here, all the way over this way using forward knots. And then with this dark purple one doing four knots, and then you do the exact same thing, you turn around and go back this way. So that's that. And um, just to help, like, just make um, the shorter ones more distinct, I use a different type of string. The string I don't really use as much. I don't know why. Maybe I just don't like it as much. But it's all string. See, this one's kind of, like, spiraling around, and this one just strings. So that's how I tell them apart if you don't look at the distance. So, yeah, that is that. And here's the diagonal bracelet, front and back. Thanks, comment, rate, subscribe.